What are your thoughts on this passage from Gary Taubes, uh, author of The Case for Keto? No meaningful experimental evidence, no clinical trials exist to support the contention that we would live longer, healthier lives by eating mostly plants rather than animal sourced foods. Well, there's not, we can't do those kinds of studies. That's really foolish. Anybody who uh, is in science will know this very well, the clinical setting. He's talking, he's inferring at least. The kind of study we need to do is like an intervention study. Okay, you eat this, this group, you eat that, right? We'll do it for a while and see how it works out. Maybe after, I don't know, a month, two, maybe a year or two, something like that, we'll switch it. We'll do a crossover. That's the classical sort of intervention type of clinical trial, right? Who in a right mind assumes that you can do that kind of study? I mean, you've got one group eating lots of plants. They're used to it. They're, 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 they're happy with that. Another group were eating a lot of animal food, right? Now you're all of a sudden going to tell them just for the purpose of the researcher, let's switch. That's nonsense. They, they don't do that. And, and number one, number two, uh, you know, they tend to know what the other's doing or you know, they, they slip, they, they, they just don't do it. So if that's the, if that's the metric, if that's the deter, determinant of whether or not research has been done on this question, it's wrong. People who make that kind of argument simply don't understand research. And that brings me to one more comment I might make on this particular point. Namely, the randomized control trial, RCT randomized control trial, which is so popular, is said to be the gold standard, okay? It is the gold standard if we're going to be testing a single chemical in which one, in one group, they're taking a chemical, a drug, as, if you will, or a nutrient. The other group, they're not. The second one is don't know what they're actually taking. They could be in a placebo group. So they don't know whether it's placebo Many times the investigators shouldn't know it. That's fair enough for testing drugs. I'm not interested in testing drugs and single nutrients. That, that, that's the gold standard for that kind of thing. The gold standard for total diet, whole food, is the observational study where you allow all the stuff in the food working together as magic formula, which I refer to as the concept of holism. There's lots of data to show that that. That's the way it could work. So, or case control studies, same thing. If you switch over to a plant based diet and this kind of stuff has been doing, it has been done, we can see the results that we get. What are your thoughts on this passage from Gary Taubes, author of The Case for Keto? The big difference between the physicians and researchers who admitted to using keto 20 years ago for temporary weight loss and those eating and prescribing keto today is that the latter now believe these diets are the healthiest way for them and their patients to eat. They don't worry about the saturated fat their patients will be eating because the clinical trials confirm this way of eating is beneficial and they can see their patients and themselves getting healthier often over the course of weeks or a few months, they are loath to recommend anything else. I've interviewed more than 120 of these physicians who tell me that they chose medicine as a career because they wanted to make their patients healthy, not to manage chronic disease. Getting their patients off carb-rich foods, at the very least, sugars, grains, and starches, and eating something akin to keto makes that happen. When public health authorities argue that a healthy diet for all means mostly plants, they make the job of these physicians and the challenge to their patients that much harder. Again, what are your thoughts on that passage from Gary Taubes? Well, you know, th th these physicians, uh, honorably, uh, I'm, I'm sure, are suggesting that they've got medicine because they want to make people feel well and feel healthy. Sure enough, I mean, as we just talked a moment ago, if they're overweight and they have pre predisposition for getting diabetes, maybe they have diabetes, you know, in the short term, they switch like that. We're going to see what appears to be, you know, a, a, a positive response, a benefit, if you will. But once again, it doesn't last. We know that from, from um, let's say, the, the, the uh, Aventus study of some many years ago, 40, 50 years ago, where they were following, those who consume a more plant-based diet, generally referred to as vegan, I don't particularly like that word necessarily, 
but a more vegan, vegetarian type of diet. The, on, the latest figures that I've seen suggest that women live about 12 years longer, men about seven years longer. And number one, Number two, to go back to the observational studies again, where we look at correlations. Correlations in this, when I'm talking about correlations, does infer causation, because the correlations I'm talking about involves the whole food. We're not, I'm not trying to find one single thing in the, in the thing to account for that, because that's not the way nutrition works. So between the observational studies, the uh, uh, prospective, uh, retrospective uh, studies, uh, observations, you know, the, the plant-based diet clearly is superior. And I'll add one more point to it too. This is where my own research comes into this a great deal. We start looking at the things in those whole foods, study them, not just alone, but together. And then ask questions like, for example, how do they really work? What we find is that across the board, the material and plants work all together to create a, a positive, healthy response. They bring cholesterol levels down. They, they change a lot of things. We did those kind of studies very systematically. And there's almost an unlimited number of so-called mechanisms that work together to create that response. If we, we can't, and exactly the opposite for an animal food diet. So the people, the physicians, uh, as I say, they, they see that, I noticed you said that they refer to maybe within a few weeks, maybe a few months, they'd like to see that. Follow them up for, let's say, 10, 15, 20 years. Come on. People consuming that kind of diet will die earlier. Of course, there's individual exceptions from time to time, but on average, that's really what happens.